Am I the asshole for refusing to change my last name? My mother passed away before I was 10. My uncle, mother's elder brother, took me in and raised me because my father by then had already started a new life and a new family. My uncle treated me very well, though I'm not sure if my aunt feels the same about me as he did. My uncle and aunt had an only son who's around my age, and what he had I had it too. For example, if my uncle got cousin a laptop he would get me one too, and they would be the same worth. My uncle even got me a car for my 18th birthday. My cousin also treated me just like his own brother. Needless to say, I am very grateful to have them in my life. Everything I have and that I am, is owed to them. However, my relationship with my uncle has hit a slight snag recently. In my culture, it's usually the parents who will help with purchasing a home for their sons when they get married. The reason is because people in my culture tend to marry young, but most of the time we would not have worked long enough to save up enough for even the down payment. For a man not to have a marital home is considered a disadvantage and the women's family may not accept the proposed union. So a man having a marital home is very important. In my case, because my mother has passed away and my father is an absent parent, my uncle and aunt are my de facto parents. Indeed, my uncle said he would buy me a marital home. However, he has set a condition for that I have to change my last name to his. Last names are a big deal in my culture so this is not something that is taken lightly. My uncle said since he's been like a father to me rather than my own father, and also as a remembrance to my mother, I should change my last name to his, which is also my mother's. So basically, no change in last name equals no marital home. I expressed to him that this is an unfair demand because like I said, last names are a huge deal in my culture and a change could trigger uncomfortable questions from people. But my uncle insisted that if I refused to change my last name I would have to buy the marital home on my own, which is impossible because I'm a fresh grad and it could take me years to even save up for the down payment. This could seriously set me back in terms of a romantic relationship and future marriage. Because of our disagreement, things between my uncle and I have become awkward. So far, my aunt and cousin have not said anything to me, but a group of close friends whom I have confided to told me I'm the awe. I'm surprised by their reaction, because other than this I had never gone against my uncle. I am also very thankful to my uncle and what he had done for me, and I would gladly take up the responsibility alongside my cousin to take care of him in his old age. It is just that I really don't think I should be forced into making a fundamental identity change and be punished for not doing it. Am I the asshole? So. Do I understand correctly that you refuse to change your last name to your uncle's last name, which is also your mother's last name, who took care of you since you are 10 and treated you like his own son just because. You are afraid of uncomfortable question from random people. Yeah, sounds like you are the asshole. You are the asshole. Change your name and be done with it. At this point he's your dad, not your sperm donor. Seeing as your culture sets a big deal on this, this is the best way to honor your family. You are the asshole. He's done everything for you out of kindness, but he's not obligated to do everything for you. He's not your actual father, so he's not duty bound to help you with your house. If you think he is duty bound, then he is your father and you should understand why he wants you to share his name. You can't have it both ways. Would I be the asshole if I sell my niece's electronics? English is not my first language. My niece, 16, lives with me since her parents passed away about a year ago. She knows how to drive but her driving is not very good. She is only allowed to drive my car when I'm with her to help her learn more. The past few nights she has been asking me to let her drive but I was too busy. Last night she went out of home with my car and slightly hit the wall. I was and still am very angry because my car is new and very expensive. I grabbed all of her electronics and told her I'm going to sell them and use the money to fix my car. She cried and begged me not to because her dad bought them for her. She promised to pay for it if I don't sell them but I don't see that happening because she doesn't have a job. I might be a asshole because I don't need the money and can pay for it myself but I want to do this to teach her a lesson. My wife says I'm a asshole though so I don't know. Edit. When I saw her and the car are both gone I knew what happened and all I could think about was what if something happens to her. I was so worried and angry I couldn't think straight. I told her I won't sell them but I'll keep them until she pays for the damage which she'll do by babysitting our child. 2F. I didn't ask her to do this because she has made it clear that she hates babysitting but she suggested she could do this so if she wants to do this it's fine by me. You are the asshole. Big time. 16-year-olds make mistakes and her recently dead dad gave her those. 
You couldn't be a bigger asshole in this situation if you sold them. Forgive her and talk her through it like an adult that is in charge of raising a kid. You are the asshole finding some chores or something for her to work off the damage would be the appropriate consequence. Getting rid of the possessions her dead parents gave her is not. Not sure how you find this appropriate. You are the asshole for saying that you're going to sell her electronics when her dead parents gave them to her. You probably don't know how important those are to her. Am I the asshole for telling my ex's daughter that I am not her aunt or her other mom? I, 34 female, was with Liam, 35 male, for over a decade, had two children with him, and we broke up when I learned he was cheating on me with Ella, 30 female. Ella was pregnant when I learned about their affair and the two of them were very smug about the fact they were going to start a family with my kids who were young enough at the time to potentially see Ella as a second mom in their lives. Ella was downright nasty saying she could provide them so much better because her parents were wealthy and she'd be number one mom in no time. We ended up getting shared custody of our children and the schedule was week on per week off. X and I had to meet at a neutral location per our custody order to reduce conflict and any problems with the exchange of our children. The judge also ruled that Ella could not be present for exchanges given her alienating language toward me that was not totally hidden from mine and Liam's children. My ex and Ella got a big shock when her family did not support them following the realization that she helped him cheat and had gotten pregnant with someone who had a family. So they ended up struggling. While I was doing better than ever after making a career shift I had wanted to do for a bit before that. They of course realized over time. This was I think just after they had their daughter and around the time they got married. Then the name I had heard for their daughter was suddenly changed. To my name, and they started being super kiss ass with me and saying how my kids deserved one family unit and how their daughter was named after me. Was my kid's little sister. How she needed someone to help support her and give her the life her siblings have, etc. I told them they were batshit crazy and I was not their daughter's anything. They had two more girls since then. And apparently they are telling those girls that I'm their aunt and or their other mom. Hence the older of the three being named after me. The oldest is always trying to seek me out. My ex brings her during exchanges of our kids and she rushes out of the car with my kids. They have told me how uncomfortable it makes them because they aren't allowed to correct it. I told my ex he needs to say something. I said the same thing to Ella but they didn't. A few days ago their oldest sought me out again and asked if she could stay when my kids stay with me and how she's so glad I'm her aunt and her other mom. I told her I wasn't. I said so kindly. But I was also firm that I was not her aunt or her mom in any way. She got upset and ran back to her parents and then I got dumped on by Ella for breaking her daughter's heart. She said they had only tried to be nice and make the best of the family situation for the kids and I was ta. I feel kind of bad because the little girl was devastated. At the same time, I don't have any interest in being part of those three girls' lives in any kind of way, except for when I see them for my kids. Am I the asshole? She's calling you the asshole after you broke her daughter's heart but she did the same for helping a married man with two kids cheat with her. Karma did bite them in the ass. Def not the asshole. Not the asshole. You didn't lie to their daughter. Ella's kids are not anything to you and you don't owe them anything. OMG not the asshole. She's playing the long game of manipulation and hoping you'll just get worn out and go along with it. I feel sorry for the kid, who's obviously been told a pack of lies, that must hurt a lot, but that's really got nothing to do with you. Your ex should be stepping up here too, he started this crazy shit, and it's his daughter. Not the asshole the insanity of some people just continue to astound me. Am I the asshole for still having my daughter's first birthday party? Okay. Here's the background. My, 24F, friend, 24F, and I gave birth on the same day. Her due date was supposed to be two months later but her baby came early. We were both so excited. Unfortunately, six months ago her baby passed on. I cannot begin to imagine her pain. I have tried to be there for her as best I could. She just wants to be left alone most of the time which I understand. Now, onto the issue. My daughter's birthday is coming up in September and we plan to invite close friends and family to her birthday party. I texted her before invites were sent out, saying, I wanted to let you know my daughter's birthday party is, on said date, and I just wanted to let you know you're invited, no pressure on you to come at all. Dot. She texted me back saying, oh no thanks, I'll be at my daughter's grave that day. You know, the one that will never have a first birthday. Fuck off. 
She told our other friends how pissed she is at me for even inviting her and that it's awful that I am still celebrating this day, and they kind of see her side, saying I could have been more sensitive. My husband doesn't think I did anything wrong and it's just grief talking. Am I the asshole for inviting her? Honestly, I feel like you were screwed either way. If you didn't invite her your friends, and her, probably would have thought you were being presumptuous by making the decision for her. You messaging her personally so she wouldn't get blindsided by an invitation was likely the right call unless she, or someone else, has talked to you about keeping a distance. If your friends mention it, ask what you could have done to be more sensitive if they have better ideas, use them. Not the asshole I agree with your husband that this is grief talking. I can't imagine how angry I'd be at the world in her shoes, let alone the extra torture of watching a friend go through the milestones I'd never get to see.